In this wintry wonderland, one man is playing more than just a solo game of Frisbee. He's going for a world record. My name is Robert McLeod. I'm also known as Frisbee Rob. Frisbee Rob is a champ. I'm the only person in the world that plays all 10 disc sports that's recognized by the World Flying Disc Federation. I also have six Guinness World Records and 10 World Championships. The 34-year-old Calgarian has been training hard to break some of those records. Today, he's going for it in a big way. I can't do it in a hockey rink because I can throw it further than a hockey rink and catch it. So my current world record is 270 feet. Hockey rink is only about 200, 220 feet. And I'm going to throw down. Oh, you yeah. put it on there. He's aiming for three records in what's called self-caught flight. So self-caught flight has two components. We have maximum time aloft and throw and catch. Maximum time aloft is total time in the air from when you throw it to when you catch it. TRC or throw and catch is the total distance from where you throw it to where you catch it. And self-caught flight is a combined score of the two events. He threw his first disc 16 years ago and it transformed his life. My mother actually passed away in 2001, so it was my way to grieve, was my meditation is Frisbee. I love Frisbee, it's every, every blood vessel, everything in my body, every pore I do. My self-proclaimed religion is Frisbeetarian. <laughs> Rob set his old record in 2015. To beat those numbers, he plans to throw the Frisbee so it floats for 13 seconds. Then, he hopes to hurl it about 100 meters away roughly one and a half times the wingspan of a 747. It's very similar to a wing on an airplane. We call this a beveled edge disc, and so when the wind and the air actually flows under the disc, it creates high pressure on the bottom, it goes faster over the top, creates lower pressure on the top, that's what creates lift on the disc. Throwing isn't always easy breezy. Ah, that's terrible. The challenges involved in throwing a Frisbee outside are obviously just the elements, so the weather. Um, in Edmonton, it's lower altitude than Calgary, where I normally train. So lower altitude actually means that the disc will turn over more and typically won't get as much glide. He's also up against the wind. So my ideal throw is throwing it slightly off center of the wind. So if the wind is at 12 o'clock, for MTA I'm throwing at 11 o'clock. It's not hitting the wind right right now. I thought that was right, but it ended up just dropping out of the sky. Wind isn't the only variable. Temperature can make or break a throw. If it's too cold, a couple things can happen. The most severe being that the Frisbee will shatter, which I've had happen sometimes. Um, but it makes the Frisbee brittle as well, and so it's really tough for it to actually fly through the air like you normally would. It's important to choose your Frisbee wisely. So the disc I'm using is an old school golf disc. It's 138 grams, and that's significant because in Ultimate Frisbee, it's 175 grams. But it's really good for catching. Unfortunately, they don't make these anymore. Um, and so I have about 30 of these that I've bought from people that had them stockpiled from 30 years ago. And I was able to get them off them. And so they're very valuable. I've set most of my world records actually with one of these discs. Don't forget, he's doing this on ice. So his skates have a little more edge than meets the eye. So these look like regular hockey skates, but what makes them unique is the way they're sharpened. So these skates are set up for maximum speed. The way they're set up for maximum speed is they actually have a longer contour. So they're flatter, more of the blade is in contact with the ice, and so you can't make those sharp turns as easily, but you can get a lot more speed and power. Time to warm up. Good form or good technique is all about rotation. So my focus when I throw is on getting a lot of snap, I want to have a lot of spin, and getting a lot of rotation because I want to have a lot of velocity on the disc. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Silver Skate Festival in sunny Edmonton, Alberta. Are we all set? Let's give him a big hand here, folks. Come on. Make some noise. Let the event begin. He starts by throwing for maximum time aloft, or MTA. For this event, Rob doesn't have to chase the disc. It's more like a boomerang. Oh, no. Ah, oh, come on. No world records for me yet but I was about a second and a half away. Breaking the MTA may not have been in the stars for Frisbee Rob, but now he's moving on to the Throw Run Catch event, or TRC. That is a big one. And he nails it. Wow, uh, so I just, I just broke my TRC record. 87.8 meters. That was a perfect throw. Easy to get to. 
so there's a the record. <laughs> Perfect. So, Rob didn't achieve everything he set out to do, but that just means there's something to aim for next time. I'm happy with the record. Can't break all of them. <laughs> and it makes me more hungry, actually, if I don't break records. <laughs>